hey guys in this video we are going to add a permission feature to our user in our IMS and also in our POS system since they are connected so in our database we are going to add a new column uh, so let's add it after the email and then let's name it permissions let's make it a bar char set the length to 5000 and make it nullable by default so here back in our page we are going to open it in our sublime and then going to add our create the HTML element for our permissions uh, fields so here um, the design would be list of modules and then the functions will be like a, a button so let's create a permission dev um, so actually we can use the permissions that php or create a partial file and then include it in this page So let's refresh and then here this is where we create the structure so now let's add a header let's make it smaller h3 or maybe h4 so now um going to do here it's add a divider or line then here let's add a dev with an ideal permissions container and then inside let's add a new dev called permission so here we can add a row and then here let's create the function or the module name so say dashboard and then on the next column let's add a new class so let's make this one md3 and create view so this is the function uh, name so or the features name inside the dashboard module um, so let's just try to check if we can use the call so let's revert it back to the numbers column 2 column 3 so here we have layout example let's uh, copy and paste that so now going to add the reports and then so what are the features so let's So the features for reports are just reports so for products uh, here we have the add product view so let's add the supplier and then here we have the view feature then the add 
next is we have the um, so let's just add some styling first before we continue so let's make it bold then make it uppercase so let's try to add the background of white and add a padding and then we'll add a radius so let's open our style sheet then here we can add or copy paste the style so let's refresh um, for now let's also add the module name style so here we need to add that class a module name refresh as you can see they are working fine so here for this the features let's name this one permission or module func or module function let's make the them centered and then here we are going to add some styles so going to do now is going to add a border of 1px and then the color let's change it to this one so let's copy and then paste refresh then here let's make the cursor pointer now it's looking good um, so here let's try to change the add to create and then add the class name the module func so this one this is module name so as you can see is reflected so let's add it to other function this one and this one module func fresh so as you can see they are work showing correctly so they are now looking good so let's add a margin bottom of 10 px then top of 10 px in between them then add the border uh, like that color so let's copy then here let's register it in our css file so now they are looking good so next thing is going to um, add more permissions so we have the purchase order then also we have user module so we can view add so here we have also the edit and the delete for users so let's add a uh, here so let's copy just space edit and delete fresh so let's make this two the length of our column so they are aligned on the same row or stay on the same row so next is for the forges orders we can add the edit and again let's make this to the supplier is also so we need to add the edit and uh, delete and update those columns 
same with the products uh, we can let's add those and change the columns the reports nothing to change uh, let's view so as you can see also here let's update them to two so they really are aligned so this is now looking good so here this purchase order let's move that on the top so after the reports section then here let's try to add a background so once they are active or selected this will be the style so let's use that color and then I mean background and then the color of white and add a border green uh, let's change it so this color let's copy and then let's register that to our CSS file and use this permission active so let's just select some so this will be the view or the style once that permission is set to the user and then um, so the schedule we don't need that one um, so now uh, we have the product supplier um, so here if you remember we have the POS system project since since these two are connected so we are also going to add a permission so basically permission to the to our pos system so this is our pos system which is connected with our inventory so let's grab that one and then paste and then here is point of sale and we only have one function which is um the entire POS system so let's just um, has access use that one as a function name so for the module we can use MD3 make it uh, the width larger so it is now looking good so now we're going to do here is we're going to add the javascript uh, function so once they click we have that permission active class added so let's remove them first and then here um, the has access let's just add the grant or rename it to grant access so now uh, back on our users add that php file so before the closing body tag let's add a javascript function so here let's call that function and then create or initialize that function so see let's create that function initialize then here uh, let's add another function called register event and then let's create that one so now once we click on the app so let's register a click event let's add a function so let's try so I'm clicking and as you can see the event properties are being shown so 
here let's get all the the target element and then can check if the class has the module func uh, class or the element has the module func class so the class list could contain so uh, as you can see it is being returned so our code is correct so now what I'm going to do here is we're going to set the active class then a store and adjust variables for our processing or saving in the PHP file later in this video so for now let's just focus on adding these active uh, inactive class so and also we need to add a hidden element to store the value of all the information selected for that users which so for now let's check first if there is an active so if there is an active we need to remove that class so meaning the user deselect that provision so else we're going to add the permission active class so let's fresh click it's added remove it is removed so in our login.ph let's just add the transition so we have that fading effect So now um, for the values so we need to update uh, our elements so uh, as you can see here so before we do that one let's add the hidden uh, element so this is where we store the formations click or set in that user then here we can add a new HTML property so let's name it data dash value and then the name of the value so basically just uh, for now I'm doing the module dash or underscore function name so PO this one this should be create this should be edit here let's try to update should be product here should be a view create delete next is the supplier just copy this one then paste supplier should be sorry should be view create edit and then delete next is the module name or the per the user rather so here create then edit and then delete so that's it I'm sorry um for the pos let's just use the pos in the next video we are going to learn how to capture this data value store it in our javascript variable and then save it in our database